My enemies are many. My equals are none. Welcome back to part 24 of my France Let's Play for Napoleon Total War with Darth Mod. We continue where we left things off last time. And with the help of you guys in the comment section and Twitch chat today, we have named Davo's army. So, um, let's go through. We've got the Hussars here, the third Pate on Hoof, the fourth Le Clip Clop, the seventh Cannon Fodder, the eighth Tesco Reserve. It's not part of their finest selection. Uh, the third Iron Lobbers. The fourth, Le Boom Boom. The first, Thundering Silence. The second, Bangers and Smash. The Charlemagne Guard. The first, Seaman. The third, Short Blasts. The 22nd, Davos Chosen. The Blue Battalion. The Proud Paddies. The Iron Irish. The Hot Chocolates. The Holy Cheese. The Toblerone Troopers. And the Papal Guard. So yeah, keep the name suggestions coming. Watch you on YouTube in the comment section. Um, I would say the next army we're aiming to name is either Masena, so that's his army lineup. So if in the YouTube comment section you want to have a look through of that army, like four cavalry, four cannon, and the rest infantry, a couple of light troops in there, and want to just fire off a load of unit names in this episode's uh, comment section, that'd be great. Either, yeah, it'll either be Masena or it'll be Napoleon's new army um, because we've got a load of new troops to pop on in. Not all of these are going to Napoleon, but a good chunk of them will, uh, especially those Grenadiers. So, yeah, feel free to Napoleon, Masena, pop more on this episode. If you've got names uh, on part one, feel free to kind of copy and paste them on this latest one. Just put them under the title of which army commander you want them included in, because that should be a bit easier for me. We're going to kick things off with smashing some Austrians today. So let's march south and face Johan. And I... Hmm. I don't know if we need to fight all these, to be honest. I am... Yeah, I'm going to do a quick save. And I'm going to take the order resolve and see... Oh, that is diabolical. That's half our troop. No. That experiment for science is not approved. Let's. We can definitely do better than losing 2,000 and half our force. So in we go. We've got way more cannon. Let's do it. In we go. Right. Opening deployment. Got a hill in front of us. Not ideal. Oh, and it's on a river. Cool. Actually didn't clock that. Um, so that's annoying because the fording point is there. I mean, we can probably uh, try and grand battery it a bit. They might send some troops over there. We will have the cavalry ready to intercept if they do. But I really can't deploy that many over there, unfortunately. Also, if we start deploying troops over here, then they may deploy or retweak. Actually, no, they're not going to change their formation, are they? Um, okay, I'm just going to take all the artillery and rush them forward here. There's a nice little ridge here. I'm honestly tempted to keep two cannon, two groups of cannons back here and then rush the other two to secure the ford. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Have you go that side. You rush straight forward there. And then you two. Just take the high ground right there. Yeah, that'd be nice. Right. The Irish. I want to see you boys in action. Mainly because I just think it's cool that you've got really bright green uniforms. And we'll have them supported by the Swiss. This is like Davos Foreign Legion really, isn't it? Then we'll take the Mariners and have them support the Irish. And I'm going to have you two back here to watch the cannons, I think. Devo, chill back here for now. We'll make, let's say you've had a little headquarters back here. Right. 
It's the cannons we've got to rush forward with. Before that, artillery starts firing. And then, yeah, we need the Irish rushing forward as well. The Swiss. The Mariners. Okay, they've got a few troops coming across there. That's fine. I'm okay with that. They actually did, they actually did completely redeploy. When you hit start, it recalculates. You just got to get here and start plying them with canister shot. Limber both of those. Get him going. Here we go. Get the Swiss over that way. And over that way. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Yeah, and he's catch that cavalry. It's broken off. We're sending my cavalry into it, but I'm getting, forming these guys up ready to engage in square if they charge at us. Form square. Form square. That should be more than enough to protect with the cavalry coming on in. These units have pulled back, so what I'm going to do is push over the bridge with the other cav. Absolutely shredding the French. Yeah, these ones up on the hill. And have them firing round shot into that point. We've broken that cavalry as it charged. Nice. Back into line. Holy cheese. Out of square, back into line, reform. how just the two cannons actually easily holding the enemy at bay. In fact, you're going to need to manually fire that. It's just set a little bit too far back. This cannon fire in here and just bring them all down. Firing at the ground so they'll just keep firing targets through. Breaking all of those units as they try and cross. Let's send this cavalry over as well, over the bridge. I made the mistake of sending two units over at the same time, which messes up their pathfinding and slows them down going across that bridge there. Um, I won't bring Davo forward until we've taken out their artillery.
Look at those proud paddies and iron Irish. Solid troops, the lot of you. Charge their cavalry. Charge the cannon. Okay, they've, made, they've got intercepted by the cavalry. You flank round and go for that cannon. Then I can bring up Davo. In fact, I'm going to bring up Davo now. You should be fine. Then all we need to do is shatter the rest of these troops as they form an orderly queue to try and cross the bridge. But it is carnage. Imagine that though. You're you're like you're charging across the ford. You see the bodies of your slaughtered companions and 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 fellow Austrians. Maybe you're charging in between cannon fire. And it, so it seems quiet. And then you just see the muzzle flashes of the muskets in front of you. And as the smoke clears, you see all the troops there as you try and push across to form up. Charging with the cav. Smush, smash, bash. They're all breaking. rally and try and come back but they'll just go straight back into the into the slaughter fest that is this river Broken across there nicely. Tell the cannons stop firing. Our work here is done. Pull these guys back. Let's get them to reform. Oh, clever. Fusiliers forming square. Well done. These Fusiliers, not so clever. Give him a volley. they've gone. Okay, that's just broken the square. We'll hunt them down if we can. we'll probably have to hunt them down anyway in the order resolve to finish off this army will probably take double if not triple the casualties that we've had throughout this whole battle okay, might as well whittle down a few more of them while we're gonna spare some of our men we could fight the follow-up but 
I'd rather just crack on. Job done. Who's left over here escaping? I won't reach them in time. They're nearly at the red line. Flee, flee for your lives. Cavalry's getting close though. <laughs> just made it. Just touched the red line. Safety. Good bit of replenishment that we're getting. 200 and... <laughs> we only lost 10% of what the order resolve is going to inflict on us. GG. They have still quite a few remaining, actually. I bet this is going to munch me, but let's see. 505. Eh, not too bad, actually. Grand scheme of things. Right. That's that done. We're getting some fast replenishment here. Move back to the bridge. That's good. Right, this army was going to push after these guys. It doesn't have a general. It was previously the garrison of Vienna. But we can't actually get a general for them yet because we're at our capacity until the next military academy upgrade. Pretty sure which for that we need. Conscription infantry tactics. Pretty sure it says number of generals available plus one. Yeah, for each one of those. Good, good, good. So it won't be long until you guys get a general. Press the attack. That's a lot of cannon. Which, again, uh, out of interest, what does the order resolve do? 1,400. I can definitely do better than that. Even if I just charge all my cavalry at their cannon line, which I'm kind of tempted to actually do here to clear away that artillery. Let's find out. Not ideal having that lump right there. Portuguese Legion. Form you guys up over here. Whisk Grenadiers. Hold through there. Have the Fusiliers through there. Keep you guys in reserve in the trees. Victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Go straight for their cannon. Swarm them. It's instantly broken the fusiliers as well. I should have had them off fire at will, though, because they did a bit of friendly fire to their own troops. Right, all the artillery smashed. Get back. Sir, okay, now sir, we have to break the lances first. Total carnage. A 
Let the cannons do their thing. Yeah, they managed to get in on the cannon there, but that's fine. Watch out, cavalry. Sound smashing. Beautiful. Just managed to catch them with squares. That one didn't form up properly, but it's got them. Keep that cavalry chased off. Pull that cavalry back round. Pull this one back here. Break every last one of them. Form square. There we go. Break their charge and then shoot them point blank. I still think the whole square formation and the way cavalry then responds to it rearing up and what have you is probably one of my favourite animations in all of Total War, actually. It just synergizes and works so nicely. broken but again we can hunt down more of them Run these guys up here. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. That one managed to make it away, but that one won't. Or at least most of it. Nah. That's the annoying thing. The moment one unit touches the line, even if all of them are still within the rest of the map, it um ends it. But we lost 162. Much better than the 1,400 that we were predicted to lose. I know we've got a follow-up battle to do, which we will just likely order resolve. But Oh, no, we can't. We can't actually make it there. That's unfortunate, and we can't even replenish either. Unless I sent Masena over to them. Yeah, let's send Masena to inspect the army. Is there... Oh, wait, no, no, sorry. My bad. He won't replenish them because we're in enemy territory. But still. Masena's gone to go bring the army home. Let's go with that. You guys go over here. You'll replenish. Militia jump on in. They're a little bit unhappy about it. But that's going to be okay. Right, Napoleon, your new army... And 
and we were also going to give Mura a tweaking to his force as well because it's not quite the full-on cavalry army that I'd like it to be. Um, I think we'll keep the dismounted dragoons, but I'm going to get rid of the colony attack, and I'm going to give Mura. Hmm. Napoleon, mm, I kind of want to give Napoleon the heavy cavalry reserve, but I'll give Mira one of the cavalry reserve and so he can go with the rest dragoons. He's going to be a very heavy mobile cavalry force. There's a lot of lancers in there. I could give him the French Polish lance lancers, actually. I'll take two of them out. Pop those two. Oh, no. Pop them into the wrong group. Pop those two in there. We've got six line infantry. Well, six infantry with four French foot dragoons. It'll work. It'll work. Bernadotte. Yeah, you need a bit of variety to your force. The Colonel's attack. I mean, they're not insane. Insane. We could probably just leave them behind to actually safeguard some regions. I don't know. We've got nearly enough to make another force here. Start moving them here. If we take all of Napoleon out. Pop these guys in here. All right, Napoleon's new skirmishes and what have you. So we don't need those anymore. Out they go. Cavalry, he's got two new heavy cav. I'm going to get rid of the lances then for the heavy cav. Heavy cavalry reserve. Then he's got space for two more units, which were these two. And then I was going to get rid of, yeah, four infantry. Oh, a little bit more than that, haven't we? Got five regular infantry. We've got those two there as well. One, two, three, four. Pop those guys in. And we've got those three. Just wondering if I actually take that ca heavy cavalry reserve back from Mira. And do something else. I feel like he should have one of the reserves. So yeah, Napoleon's force looks pretty good. We're not with all that shuffling around, we can't move on Mecklenburg. Um, I would like to see Napoleon's new and improved army in action. So if we send him towards Mecklenburg, strike that way, control that bridge and move the other forces here. We've got that force to challenge on that bridge, though, which could be um, Marianne Brun. You're hiding there, though, aren't you? You can be a new garrison force that we're building up there. And Napoleon's holding there. And you're holding there. For now, that works. Bernadotte, you can probably move up from Oldenburg, surely. Mm, not quite. Move these guys over from Cleves. Is that enough? Yes. Because then Bernadotte can hold with um, Marie-Anne Boone Guillem. Move to hold that bridge and that bridge. Yes, they can flank that way, but we'll control that whole area still. And then Napoleon and Mura can strike through Mecklenburg onto Berlin. That's the plan. I mean, actually, Masena moving over here to take command of this army is actually fine because then he can strike uh, and knock out Austria because actually that's their their last settlement over here. 
He just leaves them with uh, Lemberg and um, Klausenberg in Transylvania. But they shouldn't be able to muster much strength going forward. So that's all good. I think that's everybody moved that we need to. You guys are going to keep replenishing there. More militia that away. I don't think we've got any more ships. We'll be building more. Nope. We'll send everyone over there. Cool. Let's end the turn then. Prussians gathering their forces around Berlin and that one advancing as is von Blue. I mean, this is great. Okay. Oh, opportunity to intercept. Uh, no, because I don't want you drawing that other army. I'm going to pick you off on Blucher. Decline. Where's he going to go? He stayed put. He's like, this is a, this, uh, von Blucher's in danger. <laughs> oh, oh no, I forgot to move these guys. You were meant to kick out the fleet. That's what I meant to do. Oh, I'm sorry. Disast. I forgot. Oh, I've got an ambush opportunity here. That I will take because we shatter this army and it's Von Blucher isn't coming in to support. In we go. Rip that, that poor unit of militia whose sole task in life was to... Um, Knock enemy fleets out. Yeah, I was building that up for a naval battle, wasn't I? Probably launch into that next time. Right, let's get the cav. Where are they all? Oh, that is a... That is a tweet bunch you've gone for there. Um, I mean, my plan is to kind of just break them... Why have you why have you all clustered like that? Yeah, my plan is to kind of just cluster them all together here. I wonder, are they gonna be in range of canister? Oh they are! Oh that's gonna be brutal. They're just gonna get their whole front's gonna get shredded and then we just pile on in from the flanks. That is the plan. So what we'll do is we'll do cavalry envelopment. From the back, from the rear, along with these guys. I think I'm probably going to have to take you guys off fire at will. This is going to get too messy. Swing you guys in. Close the doors, as it were. Take a group of four here to advance forward. Because we can't hit them yet. Plus, the terrain is sketchy at best. Take these four to go in from here and then I'm going to need these four at the front if they, if they just charge us just in case. So what I'm going to do is have one unit like so. That canister is going to be grim. Now what I'm going to do, which I normally don't do, I don't ever normally pause while I'm playing, but I always feel like the one exception to that is if I want to set up like a diabolical ambush. Because an ambush, you would like to think you, if you're, you know, launching a successful one, you've, you've coordinated your attacks, right? So those guys go forward there. These guys, you're going to have to move up probably quite a bit to there. Cavalry, move you in behind, behind. That's all we need to do. Oh, I've hit it on fast forward. Play. There we go. You guys ideally need to be running into position though, not walking. Oh, what happened to you guys? You're going in not the right place at all. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours.
Just got the artillery crew back on. It's going to be messy. Charge all the cannon. Enemy general down. That's going to cause a mass rout. And then unleash volley after deadly volley into their ranks. They're trying to escape up here. We mustn't let them get out if we can help it. Press the attack in against them all. Now is likely the time to tell all the artillery to stop firing to avoid some horrific friendly fire. And in we go. unit still held this one over here easily is now they've gone continue because we can mop up their forces Get out fairly well from here. Well, they're still chasing these guys over here. Keep running forward here and then I'll turn on fire at will for you guys. You can fire again. Problem is when they haven't reloaded or something like that. So they're not going to fire. Or they're waiting for that one unit right at the back. So by the time they actually are able to fire, the enemy is out of range. stuck here oh there we go yeah take them out of the cannon crew they've all gone last group over here it should be an absolute massacre There go. Bye. What have we got left? Five. A 
Last one. He's going to make it. He's going to make it. Lucky lad. Lucky lad escaping the massacre. We lost 334. They lost 4,077 of their 4,632 strong force. 555 remaining. Fair bit of friendly fire there, though. Looking at it, they killed 184 of my troops, but we lost 334. But still, acceptable. Oh, you're right next to that army. Von Bluka is now trapped. I mean, he's, he's got a path of retreat, but he's now without any kind of other support with what a two-third stack of troops oh von bluka von bluka von bluka oh dear oh dear oh dear oh saxony though we'll probably have to send our other force down to deal with that note to self don't forget about saxony hiding in the tall grass but i don't think we brought a pokeball big enough to fit him in development in these areas now will increase your nation's trade income later thanks new nation rises ah oh, well actually yeah cool guessing you guys are probably at war with the ottomans though or were you created as a protectorate no you're not so you've just rung up uh principality of wallachia they are friendly do you want to be a protectorate of mine? I'll become your protectorate. You'll become my protectorate, rather. Mm, that's a shame. Sort of proto uh, Romania. Right. We're all kind of set there to keep on pushing, knock out Austria, and then threaten Dresden. We know that they've got a little force down here, so I might trigger that trap by sending one of these guys in there to spring that. Um, yeah, I forgot to pull up my militia unit here to smash the Prussian Navy, so we'll have to go pick up another militia unit from... Oh yeah, probably over here. Bring the fleet back. Throw the militia in. Then we can go knock them out in the next few turns. Have a nice naval engagement. But we will open next episode with Napoleon versus Von Blücher. Once we catch him. So Napoleon. Smash. Yep, actually, yeah, I mean, all resolve not massively in our favor. But they have one unit of cannon. My cannon should shred it. We'll see the heavy cavalry reserve in action. Plus all those uh, new grenadiers of the line. And the French uh, carabiners a pied. Join us for the next one. Until then, hope you guys have enjoyed. Take care and ciao for now.